everybody, it is Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you back another episode of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where we unbox, give my first reaction to all things pop culture, mainly Star Wars, Transformers, McFarlane figures, anime sprinkled in with a bunch of other stuff. So if you like that stuff, hit that like and subscribe button. Also, if you are a member, you're probably seeing this before anyone else does. So make sure you look into our membership and see what if that's something you would like to do. But today is Transformers Tuesday in my neck of the woods when I'm recording this. So we're gonna look at a Transformer. We're specifically gonna look at a Walmart reissue another reissue for a 40th anniversary and y'all saw i did my 40th anniversary sound blaster uh sound blast my 40th anniversary blaster so today we're gonna do the 40th anniversary sound wave and we're gonna see how this looks against the g1 reissue uh, uh sound wave and see which one i like better and which one you should go with so let's take a look and see if this sound wave is superior let's go do it sound wave do it here it is, folks. This is it, the box for the 40th anniversary Soundwave. And it looks just like the G1 box, except it says 40 years on it. And you can already see some differences because A, the original only came with Buzzsaw. This comes with both Laser Beak and Ravage, as well as the colors are a little bit different on that. But other than that, the box is still the same. This is the one, the only, the one that we have had before. Now, this is a Walmart reissue. When I ordered it, I ordered on Hasbro, still yet to ship from Hasbro. Then I saw it was available on Walmart. Took two days to get here. Two freaking single stupid days. And so, canceled my Hasbro, ordered from Walmart, got here. So, if you're still waiting on yours from Hasbro, maybe check Walmart, see if they still have it in stock, and get that there. Because if you are like me, you want your toys now. But, yep, this is it. This is the box. This is everything up about it and I'm really excited. We're gonna compare. We're gonna get it out of the box and compare it with the G1 that I did earlier uh, that I'll put a link to the video down below, but we'll compare, see what the differences are and see which one I like better on that. Do I like the original Walmart G1 reissue or do I like this 40th anniversary G1 reissue? But yep, so let's get ready to take it out but first here's a little tour of the packaging and again just again just the overall aesthetic and then the side you can see right here the box cutter box cutted it and then of course uh the stats and things like you normally get and that, that backdrop that beautiful beautiful backdrop but you know since i'm an out of the box collector we'll get it out and i'm not too worried about that but if you're an in the box collector that would be a shameful thing for it to be cut like it is but uh, i will probably keep those stat things Things, but here it is. So let's do this. Let's get it out of the package. And here is everything out of the box and everything that you get in this messy mess mess on my table of possibilities. Yes, beautiful, beautiful sound wave. And uh, so, yep, yeah, this is everything you get. So first of all, you get, of course, the little speaker thingies, that, not speaker thingies, the missile thingies, but you also get the cassette deck, uh, which you can already tell there's some some noticeable differences versus the G1, which I'll bring out here in just a little bit. Uh, but you get that, you get, of course, his little uh, gun, his shooty shooty bang bang. Uh, love the uh, the red around that. And of course, the those, you just kind of just pop them off, uh, get them out, pop them off, stick them in. Now, they don't do the, the shooty thing. Uh, I, I was hoping that they would do uh, the, the shooty thing that like the star scream does, but it does not. I guess they're afraid kids will shoot their eyes out out uh on those but uh but i know this stuff but i don't know why because starscream the g1 retro movie one has it where it does that whereas this one it just doesn't and so uh but let me get these the rest of these pulled off and get these 
in where they need to go. And if you don't hear the noise of me pulling these things off and the clickety clackety, it's because my audio was out and I am re-recording this audio. But just take your utility knife and you can cut off all those little nibs and nubs and dubs and rubs and cubs and stubs and things like that. Uh, but yep, yeah, there is that. Then you also get his little sh over the shoulder cannon, which again, really love the red details in those. You also get laser beaks good old jet engines to helps him fly and then you get ravages missiles and jet engines that helps him missile and then of course you also get the instructions which if you've ever transformed Soundwave, you would know what to do but very easy instructions uh on that and then of course the piece de resistance so here is ravage beautiful beautiful ravage in his cassette form take a look very nice i uh, wish it had some of the details that the original g1 ravage have now i don't have the original g1 ravage uh but uh there's it's just missing some of the decals but you can feel that there's some die cast in that and the in the legs so that's very cool then we get laser beak which is just the red color of buzzsaw and love the 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 things on that too as well uh it's got decal stickers all that good stuff too uh uh, but that is laser beak and then of course we'll compare him with buzzsaw here in just a little bit but there he is up close and personal personal and now the pesto resistance mr Soundwave himself and already yeah you can see like i do dig the painted on decepticon logo there but it is such a different lighter shade of blue and yellow and gray on this and just doesn't quite have all the 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 decals and stickers and i'm hoping toy hacks builds that buttons don't work but that does move up and down right there and then of course uh that that moves you got the cassette you can throw throw a laser beak in there put it in there he won't play anything uh, if he did, what do you think Laser Beak would play? What music would you think he would play? What do you think Ravage would play? Who let the dogs out? I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, you could put it in. I wish you could kind of shove all the tapes in there. That would have been kind of cool. Uh, there is the back of it, uh, of the beautiful cassette. The bottom it does have that little bit of die cast too as well on it. But yeah, I again, I just, it, it feels like it's missing some stuff on that now the wheel on the side does move and so uh we're gonna go ahead and uh bring in in just a moment but first let me just tell you how big it is it is almost three inches about two and a half two and three quarters inches tall and then of course about four and a half four and a quarter inches wide and about an inch and a half uh in width on that so Good old Walkman Soundwave. So let me bring in his G1 counterpart for comparison. And here is the G1 Walmart reissue. I don't have the original, but this is the G1 Walmart reissue. And again, you can already see some of the details that, that uh, the 40th is missing that I really, right now, I mean, the G1 reissue is one of my favorites. The 40th is okay. Uh, but yeah, the 40th is missing some things that the Walmart G1 reissue from several years ago has. I mean, that's kind of just a direct kind of, pretty much copy of the 84 right there. Uh, so well, let's get into some of those differences here. So first of all, I mean, when you take a look at Buzzsaw, I love the fact that it has the, the uh, tapes, but you only get one. You get one Buzzsaw, there's the weapon. You got the chromed out Chromeo versus the painted silver there. I love the chrome better uh, than the painted silver. Of course, the guns, I think I really do dig the 40th, but which has a bit more detail in the uh, over the shoulder cannon with that red stripe and everything too as well. I uh, really do dig that. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's take a look at the, 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 uh, the, the both of these here in just a moment but yeah toy hacks i need you to come out with some labels for this so yeah you see that you get the record you get the play you get all these other details on this one that you don't get on the 40th come on i wish we had that and then of course you got the the chrome i like the chrome wheels better than the gray and then the silver i, I actually dig the silver now the gray it, there's nothing wrong with it i just dig the silver much better and then of course um the door i i kind of i kind of like you can kind of see here um 
there's more definition in the door on the Walmart G1 reissue versus the uh, Soundwave one uh, there. But look at it. Which one do you dig? Which one do you like better? Do you like the Walmart reissue or the regular G1 or the 40th? And then again, with the cassettes, I wish it had some of these decals. So again, Toy Hacks, I'm calling on you. And right there, it looks like a cassette. Whereas on the other side, it doesn't look like a cassette. This looks like a cassette. It's, you know, it's playing Joshua Tree. Uh, whereas this one, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Laserbeak, we need some details, my friend. Uh, but two tapes versus one. I think that's that's interesting. And when the, uh, when the G1 Walmart reissue came out, I think it was like 50 bucks. And I paid $45, um, $45 for the 40th anniversary one versus the $50 I paid for my G1 Walmart reissue there. So $5 less, I got two tapes, but I do am missing some details. So, but yeah, which one do you like better? G1 or G1 that's kind of more retro looking there, so. And just one more comparison, his brother from another mother, Blaster. There he is, big old Blaster boombox versus the Walkman. There it is, there we go. But now, let's transform Soundwave. <laughs> Transformed Soundwave Superior, everybody else inferior. Uh, just like the old school. I mean, if you, it's like almost muscle memory for me how to transform Soundwave. So easy, so easy to go. But let's put on Laser Beaks weapons, and you will see me mess up here just a little bit. I'm putting them on the wrong way. Jimmy, you're putting those on the wrong way. What are you doing? What are you doing? Realize your mistake. Realize it. Come on. Yep, those do not go that way. So we need to take those off, put them on the right way. Uh, if you know, that's where sometimes the um, instructions, reading those instructions help out. As you know, I don't like to read instructions. I like to just wing it, try to make it happen. Uh, but there we go. That's a lot better. Looks a lot better. There you go, laser beak. You can fly right, do his things. But really cool. Nice little laser beak. Beautiful, beautiful boy. And then you can kind of kind of set him up on there uh i wish there was a perch but you can kind of set laser beak up there but he just doesn't really really fit uh, and then of course we got ravages um miss Giles, and and hopefully i got these going the right way uh i think there are other missiles and, and and rockets too right uh but love 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 i wish again i wish they were chrome i wish they were chrome come on come on make them chrome and then of course trying to make ravage this was the thing I didn't like about the G1 tapes. It's just a little difficult making Ravage stand up. Just a little difficulty there. And then we're going to put his gun on. And then we'll get his over-the-shoulder boulder holder. I mean, his cannon. Uh, not his boulder holder. He doesn't need a bra. But there he is. All put together. All done up and gussied up. Ready for his show. But let's take a look at Laserbeak really quick. There he is from the top. From the front. From the side from the bottom from the other sides and all that good stuff but yeah reminds me of laser beak of old there he is just need some more detail in those stickers that's the only thing that i wish it had uh was a the chrome and then this the details and stickers and there we go with ravage there he is from the side of course everything's blurry because sound wave is in focus but not ravage jimmy just does not know how to hold ravage up into the camera because now all you're looking at is Ravage's butt. Uh, so, uh, but, I mean, he, he's still cool. Ravage is cool. I mean, I, you know, I'm glad we got him. I need to pick up uh, Frenzy and Rumble and some of the other ones too as well. 
just to have the whole crew. I probably have to pick up the G1 reissues of that. But here's Soundwave. Here's the articulation, just the normal, like you would have, not as articulate. You can rotate the hand, rotate the up. You can make them kind of kick forward. Uh, kick all the way up there but can't kick back so very limited articulation in these g1 toys but that was okay back in the day that's how we played with it that's how we had fun with it and made things imagination now got the red eyes which uh if you once i get the g1 one g1 one g other g1 one ready you can see the differences between that but it's a lighter blue plastic with the gray i mean i i don't mind it uh but again, I kind of prefer the other one, but this is kind of how he looks. There he is from the front, right there. Just beautiful boy. Now, his feet are die cast. They are painted die cast, but it is die cast. But there he is from the back, that side. Just a nice registered trademark rotisserie view of Soundwave uh, there. So from a height standpoint, what you're looking at is about seven inches high. The perfect size, the perfect height, the perfect length uh, for everyone on that. So, but uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful sound wave. Let's take a look. Let's bring in the other guy. Let me transform the other guy and let's bring him in for comparison to see what's the difference and which one do I like better. Again, toy hacks, please. Labels, labels, please. Let's do this. And here they are side by side, side by side. They are back to back. They faced each other, drew their swords and shot each other. But yep, we got them here. And I can already tell you, I mean, you can see a stark difference between the two. The The, the 40th anniversary kind of reminds me of that. It would be a like the Transformers, the movie retro. But the, the regular G1 reissue here that I got from Walmart, I think just just outclasses it it does uh just just overall i think it is much better now again the lighter blue doesn't bother me but uh, gosh it's the navy that gets me the navy in the navy it makes me want to kind of go back to my childhood but the 40th there's nothing wrong with it i do dig the uh, again the the detail in the over the shoulder cannon uh but all the other details i mean look at the window i mean just the better detail in the gold whereas that yellow that's got that overspray we could have done a better job on that come on hasbro um, now i do like the logo that's better on the 40th but the g1 it just has that better detail right there and then again silver and gold i mean not silver and chrome uh silver and chrome and then the septicon logo on the head and then the chrome oh chromeo right there buzzsaw you're looking good uh nothing wrong with that laser beak but i just think again just include if, if you're not going to put the labels on just include the sticker sheet and let me put them on uh i will do that which makes me want to hunt down a sticker sheet or a decal sheet for Soundwave and maybe kind of use that and see if that'll work uh but there is blaster in the back just to kind of show you just uh from a size comparison there and that's the walmart reissue of blaster not the 40th anniversary one uh as you can tell from the uh, darker tan legs on that but uh which one do you prefer Tell me, I prefer the original versus the new. But again, if this is the only sound wave you can get, then get it because there's it's not a bad sound wave. It's just when you hold them side by side, there is a big difference. And I, I don't know if I prefer the yellow eyes or the red eyes yet. So uh, we'll see what we do when we get into that. But, um, but yeah, which one for you? 40th, do you like the blue? Or do you like the dark blue? Do you like the silver? Do you like the gray? What may it be? Do you like Ravage? Do you like the guns? Uh, you get two tapes. Is the two tapes outclass the look? Uh, maybe, maybe it does. Let's get my final thoughts though. So some of my final thoughts on 40th anniversary Soundwave. So I'm gonna bring them in the mode that I'm gonna keep them in. I am gonna keep them in cassette mode with laser beak kept in there too as well. The main reason why is because I think I really enjoy uh, this sound wave better in robot mode uh, versus this one here. Uh, now, nothing wrong with this one. I, I, you know, it's got the lighter colors. I love the fact that it came with uh, laser beak and ravage. But I think it needs some chrome, like this guy, and it needs some stickers. Uh, that's where this one kind of lives up to it. And I don't know if I like the yellow eyes or the red eyes better. So you tell me, red eyes 
or yellow eyes red eyes yellow eyes red eyes black dragon uh so but um uh, yeah, I mean, just the details on this guy is so much better than on this one here. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, he's going to stay in cassette mode. Now, Ravage will, will stay in Ravage mode because uh, I don't have another Ravage. So I'll keep him in Ravage mode on that. Uh, but on a, I, I think you can't go wrong with this. This was $44.95 on Walmart's website. I, I, as I remember, I think, again, I believe it was fifty dollars for the original g1 reissue so uh cheaper and you get an extra cassette Ugh, come on you can't beat that and so if you have it ordered on hasbro you may want to look at walmart and see because they they shipped this out pretty quick uh to me and hasbro it was still waiting uh so maybe go check see if it's ready see if it's something you want to go ahead and get and i think this would be a great one for you to introduce your kids to just to say hey here have fun with this transformer and they'll be like dad mom what is that? You can say it's a cassette deck. And they'll be like, what's a cassette deck? And you'll say, wow, back in the days of old, back in the days of yonder, before, uh, before iTunes and before Apple Music and Spotify, you had to go buy tapes and you had to buy a whole cassette tape full of songs only for the two songs that you liked and then if you wanted to find those songs you had to constantly rewind and fast forward and rewind and fast forward or you did like me you waited by the radio and once your song got ready to come on you hit that record button as fast as you can uh, to record it so that you, way you had it with that high fidelity hissing sound of your cassette deck with the ultra bass sony walkman on that any of y'all have like the big old cassette thing I know I did. Now, you know, you had like 50 cassettes and you were just like, that was just like your badge of honor. Like you were like the, the, uh, the, the more cassettes you had, the, uh, the, the, the harder level boss you were to beat pretty, pretty much. But yeah, introduce your kids to this. And I think they'll like it. I think it's great. Uh, but scale of good, bad, awesome. I think it's pretty awesome. I think you should get it. I think you'd love it. I think you'll, you'll, uh, hug it and you'll call it George or Soundwave because, but which Soundwave superior? I still think the G1 Soundwave superior. This one, not superior to the G1 original Soundwave toy on that. So, uh, but with that, that's all I got to say about that. So tune in next time when we talk about something else, good, bad, or awesome. But in the meantime, y'all remember to stay young, have fun, be awesome. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now. <laughs>